Introducing the 908 Fersuch Caliper. The word Fersuch in German literally translates to experimental, and this is one of the very first experimental 908 calipers known to exist. We know this by the stories that this little latch and pin mechanism can tell us. It all began with the Porsche Type 910 race car from 1967. The first Ate aluminum caliper showed up in this car with this very same latch and pin system. Detailed photographs in the actual 910 driver's manual show this exact system. It's not what we've come to expect from a 908 caliper, but it is the way the very first 908 calipers were developed. Upon closer inspection of this 908 raced by Mitter and Scarfiati at the 1000K at Nuremberg Ring, you can actually see the Fursuit 908 caliper on the car. By zooming in on the worker in the front wheel well, we can see the latch on the nose of the caliper. Another recent finding shows a fursuit caliper that was later upgraded to what we commonly know as the 908 caliper with the pull pin and the hinged pad spring. So this latch and pin have really done a good job of explaining what this caliper really is. The latch and pin themselves made it easier for the crew in the pits to change pads. Here we have the pin and you can see the latch lives in a shallow section of the modified nose of the caliper. The holes for the standard pins were opened up so the U-pins could fit in from the front. A simple push and the pin was locked into place. Moving on to some unique stampings on the caliper, this is where our caliper gets its name for souk. The first of our experimental pieces received a V stamping. Underneath we see the stamping V68, which would coincide with the 1968-908 program. The other thing we see on the underside of this caliper is the Ate logo molded into the casting. This differs slightly from a standard S caliper casting as all 908 castings I've seen have this logo in the center, whereas the S caliper had them slightly higher than center. The next thing we notice on this caliper, there are no notches where the compensating line and bleeders would go. This probably made it a little more difficult to get the flare wrench on there, and they were later modified. You can see from the S caliper body we have here where the notches would go. Later 908 calipers also had these notches. The Fursuit caliper has no notches yet. Finally, we noticed the radius top. This was done so the calipers could fit under the smaller 13-inch wheels. Introducing our recreation of the very first 908 caliper. Because the early S caliper was cast off the same mold as the 908 caliper, we have a great base to start with. We've gone to great lengths to replicate the Fursuit 908 caliper in full detail, starting with our little friend, the latch and U-pin system. The U-pin slides out the latch and pin mechanism were actually made from dies molded from the original latch and pin system. Next you'll notice we've matched the radius on the top and we have everything programmed into a CAD mill. Even the first six stampings were duplicated using the same size stamps. On the bottom you'll notice V68 in honor of the 1968-908 program. From the very earliest 908 calipers comes the very latest 908 caliper. Built off an early S caliper core, these calipers have been machined, de-anodized, polished, re-anodized to offer years of protection. All new freshly plated hardware and stainless steel pistons make this literally a brand new 908 caliper. Introducing the Fersuk 908 Caliper.